Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to use LED Studio in the controller H807SA program using LED Studio. So first, before you dive into the LED Studio, you need to set the IP address. So that's what I'm going to do first, set the IP address. To set the IP address, you need to come here. At the network, you need to come on Ethernet. On Ethernet here, on Ethernet, then you go on the first option, which, which, which reads change adapter option. Then you click on change adapter options. On adapter option, it will take you on this page where you can see all the network and internet. And on network and internet, you click here, which is written into a cable unplugged. Yeah, you click here. Then you go on properties. You click on properties. On properties, it will take you on this page. On this page, you click here where it's written in the protocol version four. When you click here, then you go to properties. You come here on properties, then you can see the IP address. So this is the IP address you need to set. So to set the IP address, first you need to remove the IP address, then you click here, then you set the IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. Down here, we have this subnet mask. This one you don't need to set. If you just click here, it's going to come here. But if you're done with setting your IP address, then you click OK. Let's move on to Lead Studio. So let me open my Lead Studio. Now, my Lead Studio software is on. So first, what you need to do, you come on settings. So you need to create the new program. Then you click here on Settings Couple. Then you press OK. So if you press OK, it will take you on this page. On this page, you need to set the dimensions of your list strip or the setup you are working with. Come here on File, then you click New. Here you can set the width and the height of your list strip. Let's just put SKIST here, SKIST, and the list strip is just one. So you can just put one here, the height. Then we come up with this pixel we design. So each box represents the pixel, each plus represents the pixel. So after that, you need to come here and change the sleeve number here. We are using this controller with eight port. If you come here and then we change this sleeve number to eight line because we are using eight port controller. You can see now it's changed here. Then here is the connection mode. You can change which one you want to use. So with this one, you can just leave it like this let's mark here our line here let me drag it then you can see now all the pixels are indicated after choosing the slave line you need to come here on next setting and click on motor setting here our controller ip address is indicated on the first year on top here so if i click on top here to put your controller on on online mode you come here on the slave number and change to one because we're only using one controller. You come and change to one here, and then you press OK. You can see my light is on. So here you click on the last box here with the hammer to check you on this page. On this page, that's where you can choose your choose the IC type number here. So we let me click here. You can see we have different IC types here. We have DMX IC type and SPI IC type. Here. You choose which one you are going with. Then here you choose which light, name light you are using. There's IGW, RGB. I choose which one you using. And here is where you can test the color. So here you can see we just for color testing. You click here, change to green, blue. You can do that. Click OK. So after that, if you feel everything is OK, then you click Apply. Then you click Exit. Let's close our lead studio and we go and create the effects. So to create the effects, click on this box. It will give you this box here. Then you click on the next blue box. So on the next blue box, you go on design window to create the effects. So check you on this page. So on this page, what you need to do first, you come on configure. You click configure here. On configure, it will bring you on this this page so you can choose which color you want your list strip to draw. 
So first I need to click clear, you clear all the colors. So now you can choose which color you want. So let me go with red, yellow, green, blue. Let me just go with all the colors. And you click OK. Here on action, so you can choose which the action you want your color to, you want your effect to move or to rotate. So you have moving symmetric, the rotation. So let's go on rotation. On rotation here, you also, uh, you can choose how you want your lead strip or a panel to rotate. You just keep it on two. So to test your effect, you come here on play, press play. So you can see my effect now is, is moving. You can see on the, on my lead strip, my lead strip is moving like this. And after that, you press stop here. So create the next effect. You do the same process. You come here and you come here. Then you design again, then configure here, clear all the lie. Then you choose the colors you want. Let me just choose all these colors. Then I press OK. Then now I want it to move. Let me just move from right to left. So let me just pray place here. You can see now it's moving. You can see it's moving here, moving here. I'm done. Then I'll press OK. That's all about creating effects using LED Studio and with the controller, Atnet controller, which is H8 or 7SA. Thank you.